Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm super excited about today's video because today we're gonna to be talking about how we can make product research really easy and simpler for you guys so you can start finding more products. And we're gonna be using Helium 10 software if you didn't know about that already. And we're gonna be going through some things that you should know about so that you're more prepared to do product research. So if you guys are ready for today's video, let's get it. Of course, who am I? What are my credentials? Why should I be even giving you any advice? Well, first off, my name is Kevin Pack. I'm a multiple six-figure Amazon seller. I'm gonna show you guys myself so you guys know I'm a current seller too. Here we go in the last 30 days. I've done almost $17,000 in sales. And in the last 12 months, I've done almost $560,000. Got my little partner in crime with me right here. Ah, this is Oogie. Now you might be wondering, why does his face look like that? And the reason is, is because you guys haven't smashed the like button for the YouTube algorithm. So go ahead and do that because it's gonna make him happy, it's gonna make me happy, and we're gonna get better content that way. So go ahead, like the video if you haven't already, and subscribe for more. If you couldn't tell, that boy is kind of heavy. All right, so there are some steps that we want to take before even getting into all of this. First off, we need to make sure we have the software to do product research. So Helium 10 is what I recommend. Uh, you can use the Helium 10 black box to do product research there. And you're also gonna need their Chrome extension, which is completely free for you to analyze an Amazon market. All right, cool, get that, good. Link in the description for discounts and all that good stuff. Now, what you're gonna need to know first is what is your category that you're gonna sell in? Identify the category so that you can narrow things down a bit. It's a lot easier to know what your category is uh, just by thinking about like what your interests are, right? So there's baby, there's beauty, there's home and kitchen, there's sports and outdoors, toys and games, all that good stuff. There's so many products out there, so many categories. Now, the worst thing you can do is overwhelm yourself and do product research looking at all those categories. Instead, what you should do is narrow it down to a category that you're most interested in, and then just stick to that and look at the entire market of that category or product. You'll find so many products in that, and it's a lot easier just to hone in on just that. Next up is identifying your monthly revenue goals and things like that. So if you're somebody who really wants to make, you know, 10K a month in revenue, then you probably should start off with putting in your filters and finding products that make between five and fifteen thousand dollars right break it down to that don't do something like ten thousand to a hundred thousand or twenty thousand seventy thousand don't have such a big gap in your research try to break it down a bit more and go up the scale so go five to fifteen fifteen to thirty or something like that they all should fit within your criteria of your goals of whatever that might be next up is break down your price ranges this is definitely going to depend on your budget um, but a lot of times my rule of thumb is lower price products are great for lower budgets and then higher price products are great for if you have a higher budget. Uh, but that's not always that black and white. A lot of times if you simply think about it, lower price products uh, require a higher MOQ and more expensive uh, products require a lower MOQ. So say for example, a product is $4. You're probably gonna need to order a thousand units of that. So you're gonna spend $4,000. But if you buy a process $40, you might only need hundred or hundred units of that. So you'll still spend $4,000. So it doesn't really matter so much about price, but in a general rule of thumb, lower price products are cheaper to uh, invest in and higher price products cost a little bit more money. But I encourage you to look at all ranges. So products that are $12, $50, 100, 200, whatever the case may be, I encourage you to look at all because they all have potential, but break it down. So go from like 12 to 20 and then 20 to 40, et cetera. Next up, make sure you're sticking to markets with low reviews, preferably something under 200 would be great. That way we are in markets that are lower competition, but we also wanna make sure that they're also in high demand, but lower reviews are really, really important. So under 200 gives us a little bit more room to say like, you know what, they're still new at selling. They don't have like a thousand reviews or something. They're not too established. We're new sellers. We wanna get into a market where we can enter and get a piece of the pie of that, all right? So now those are the steps I really, really wanna look into. Now let's go into the computer and see that happen in action. Okay, so here we are on my computer and we're using Helium 10. Again, link in the description. If you guys want a discount to use Helium 10, this is software I use on a daily basis to run my business. And Helium 10 black box is what I start off with to find products. Just a starting point. It's not where I find all my products. It's just where I start and then end up going down the rabbit hole and just finding all these different types of products. It's a great place to just start somewhere. 
If you're wondering where to start, just start here. So we're going to go back to what we're talking about. And what we're talking about is category. Select your category, pick something that you're into, that you're most interested in. And today's example, we'll use something like, uh, let's go kitchen and dining, right? And then monthly revenue, pick your ranges of what you want to pick. And let's say your goal is to make $10,000 a month. Then I recommend you pick something between 5,000 to like 15, which is right above and below it. And that will match up to your goal. Next up is price. We're going to break down the price as well. I'm going to put something like 15 to 35 and then review count something under 200. So I'm going to put like uh, 156. You don't need to mess with the reviews, uh, review rating or the shipping tier. We're just going to stick to this and then we're going to hit search, right? And my best advice is when you go through all of these products, skip all the ones that look very basic. Okay, so like this pot is very basic. Go for the ones that look very unique that you haven't heard of or seen before. So maybe cocktail picks, bamboo skewers, that might be something interesting. That's not something I commonly see. So I might click on that and then I will move on. And I go through and like I'm seeing aluminum. Don't want to do that, it's too basic. And I just keep going through and when I find something interesting, I'm going to click it and then move on. So this is how you get through products and filter through them quicker so you don't waste time and just look at every single individual product, right? So that's how you use Helium 10 Black Pucks to start finding products. But now how do you vet products? How do you know what's a good product to start sourcing? Well, when we, what we wanna do is look at a product market. And to look at a product market, we don't look at just the single individual product. What we do is we look for the main keyword of that product, so bamboo skewer, we make sure that we look at the entire category. And when we type in a keyword like bamboo skewer, copy that and then hit enter. This right here is a product market. Okay. On Amazon, this is a product market and we're going to analyze the market to see how the numbers are doing. And this is where we start vetting the product and seeing if it's a viable product to start doing. Now there are some key things that we want to uh, look at when it comes to finding a product. Number one is high demand and low reviews. And we're going to be using Helium 10 Chrome extension to look at all of these numbers. So we have this all laid out. Um, and I personally like to look at things from the highest revenue to lowest revenue. And I get rid of these SPs, which are sponsored ads. And I get rid of those uh, because they don't belong there. They're not organically there. So I delete those and I look at the top 12 and I look at the, the revenue and the review count. Now, looking at these products, when we vet them out, we want to make sure that we're looking for high demand and low reviews. High demand means a high revenue right here. So if they're making a lot of money here and everyone's making a lot of money, then that's high demand and low reviews is low competition. So we want to look for low competition by looking at the reviews and seeing that, okay, is there a lot of people with low reviews with under 200 that are doing really well here clearly we're not seeing anybody with under 200 that are doing well so this is a product that we're not going to waste any more time on and then move on right uh but let's say this product were to pass let's say this product had really low reviews and high demand what would we do moving forward from there we want to look at what is the profit margin of the product can we see at least 30% profit margins on this product for us to even be worth doing it. And then the next thing would be making sure that it's not patented or has any copyright material on it. Oh, and last but not least, is there room to differentiate? Can we actually improve this product so that people will start buying our product over their competitors or our competitors, I should say. So those are some criteria that we want to look at. Now I do go into this a little bit more in depth actually a lot more in depth in my training program and my mentorship program. So if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more in depth from me directly, go ahead, check the link in the description for the FBA boss Academy, where I teach people how to sell on Amazon, just like I have. So that is how you'll get to the step-by-step -step guide and everything in detail. I'm just going over what the basics of product research is using Helium 10 with you guys. So that is how you do it. So moving forward, we want to make sure that we have a starting point. Helium 10 is a great starting point for us to start finding products and making sure that we know what category we want to sell in, how much revenue we want to make and uh, the price points that we want to sell at. And then moving forward from there, once we find product markets, we need to analyze them and vet them and see 
okay, is there high demand? Is there low competition? If that's good, all right, let's move on. Let's find out the profit margins. Let's see if there's room to differentiate, things like that. So that is how you do product research from Helium 10, and this is what I use. So I hope you guys have a better understanding of how to do product research and start finding products that you're gonna be actually be able to sell. So again, I hope this video was super helpful for you guys. As always, if you guys have any questions, go ahead, throw it in the comments below. Subscribe for more content, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Go make that money, and I'll see you later. Peace.